Hey guys, what is going on here? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the Explosives Plus mod on your Mac. So I chose to install this mod first because it was kind of hard for me to install it. I really uh, didn't know why it wasn't working and I kept on trying different things and it finally did work for me. So uh, what you're going to be needing for this is MC Patcher for one. And I will have that in the depth of, in the, uh, download link. So here's MC Patcher, pretty simple to use. Um, so this is what you will be using for this. You're going to be needing the Explosives Plus mod. I will have that. You're going to be needing a uh, mod loader MP, uh, Minecraft Forge, and you can have the Too Many Items mod. I will be having this. I would recommend it, but you don't have to have that. So very first thing you want to do is go and open up the Explosives Plus uh, zip folder here. It's going to give you a folder, not this is a whatever. Open up the folder and then you're going to see this here. Take this and drag this out and you want to replace it. And now you can go ahead and delete this folder some reason it puts it out of view but here is the new one so uh, there it is now what you're going to be doing is going in MC patcher clicking the mods clicking add then uh, direct to where your files are mine are in the desktop go ahead and select the explosives plus zip file click open and select this backslash here. Select OK, and you're going to be seeing all these classes here. Just select OK again, and then we can move on to uh, Mod Loader. So go ahead and click Add, and you will also be needing just a normal Mod Loader, and I will have that in the download link. It's the same thing for this Mod Loader, but you will be having to have that too. Anyway, so let's go ahead and find um, uh, mod loader MP. So here it is. We're going to select open. Here is classes, and we will select OK. Then we will open up uh, Minecraft Forge. Make sure it isn't the server one. I will have the uh, download link, so don't worry about that stuff. Just click on it and download it. Uh, click open and make sure the backslash is selected select OK select OK again now one more time uh, find the too many items mod on here I'm going to select that, I'm going to select open here's all the classes, I'm going to select OK and then we are, then we are going to select a patch so here we go now this uh, says there is a conflict between mod loader and uh, Minecraft Forge, it's okay, just select it. Uh, yes. And there we go. So now let's open up Minecraft. Select to log in. And here we go. So now that it is open, we can select single player, start a new world. I'm just going to be using Creative for this. Uh, let the build load up. And now that this is loaded, it spawned me underneath a tree. We can go ahead and check by selecting our inventory. As you can see, too uh, many items is on. We can scroll over, and then we can see that we have the extra uh, explosives plus here. Um, I am going to warn you, this probably will crash your computer. Or actually crash Minecraft, not your computer. It might freeze up your computer. It did freeze up mine. Uh, it's pretty rough, but here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and select um, just the first ones, and we'll just go through all of them. But first is first, so here is the nuke. Here's the mega nuke. Here's napalm bomb. Precision TNT. Sticky TNT. C4. Uh, a beacon, 
biome buster and that is what we're going to be using for now and let me get our detonator out so first thing is TN or uh, nuke <clears throat> so what the nuke is is basically just like a nuke um, we will go ahead and place this here with some C4 on this back away this is the least powerfulest nuke on here so it's not that powerful but uh, here we go there we go so here's the nuke it made a decent sized hole uh, not too bad and this is great for griefing if it was on the server too bad it isn't but they should include that so next thing we're going to be including is the mega nuke so this thing will blow your uh, pants off outside of the game uh, that was stupid um so we'll just put some c4 on this make sure it's nice and even okay so i'm gonna back away here we go and it has a quite long fuse on it but as you can see they stopped moving so um might freeze up for a second or two so yes it did light everything over here on fire too so let's go forward a little bit and as you can see once this loads up here everything is on fire so that's great um, we're probably going to have a force fire too so uh, I wouldn't suggest putting too many of these down they're pretty powerful so uh, that is the mega nuke so let's go ahead and move on to the napalm bomb it's pretty simple I'll just stick this right here put a C4 on it and blow it up so basically, this is just napalm everywhere. This is a really bad mess to clean up. I would hate to, but that's basically that. So precision TNT is basically just great for mining, I guess. I really have no idea what it does, but put a C4 on that and blow that up. That's uh, precision TNT, so that's cool. Let's move on to sticky TNT. So, as you should know, if okay, the tree's gone. Um, let me find a tree. So, if you put TNT down and light it, it's going to be affected by gravity, and that is the point of sticky TNT. So this won't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and get a redstone torch out. You know, the beacon's just kind of like a beacon, so I'm not really going to use that, but. Let's get a redstone torch out. Uh, here it is. So, as you can see, once I light this, um, crap. Sorry. So, you know how normally it would fall? This doesn't fall, it's sticky, so it's just gonna sit there. Now, I believe this is the same strength as normal TNT on the game. It's just a uh, sticky, so not that big of a difference. Obviously, next one is C4. Just C4. Uh, used to blow stuff up and set off the other things, but that's it. You can set it off by using the remote detonator. So that's cool. Okay, so now let's move on to the biome buster. Actually, I think I'm going to do this one last because um, I don't think you guys will be able to see it. So let's go ahead and move on to uh, the next ones. So, Hydrogen Bomb, the Nova Bomb, and the Volcano. Okay, so now what we're going to be using is... Uh, these are kind of weird, but... Here is the boom stick, the hell stick, and um, let's see, the wrench. 
Okay, so first one is the um, hydrogen bomb. This is 50% of, not really 50%, just it's kind of in the middle of everything. Now as you can see with the wrench, you can right click it and change the settings for this. Um, so now we will just put some uh, C4 on top and set it off and there we go there is the hydrogen bomb it's pretty powerful nice and big uh, does the job well and will blow up everything uh, so yeah that's pretty cool let's move on to Nova uh, Nova bomb or buster I think it's a Nova bomb I'm sorry now this one has crashed my computer every time so I'm a little scared playing this but uh, we'll see. Sorry if you guys won't be able to see this, but basically it's just sucking everything into a giant hole and then it's going to disperse it everywhere like that. Makes a really bad mess. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Pretty cool, I guess. Not bad, not bad. And here's the volcano. This one is pretty dangerous, can be pretty dangerous sometimes. So let's go ahead and put this down here. So uh, put that down. I'm gonna use a wrench to change this timer to 100. And I'm gonna change this down to 10. And select save. And actually, we'll put some C4 on top. Back away gracefully. And we will set this off. So it creates a volcano, and then the volcano will go off. Once it goes off, it's just going to shoot lava everywhere. And this creates a gigantic mess. Um, it's very, very bad when this happens. It's just going to light everything on fire basically so um, so I might have to make a new world I'm sorry it's a little bit laggy but it's pretty bad see as you can see it's just covered everything in lava um, and everything will end up burning down probably So it's a pretty big mess. And uh, so that is Volcano. So now what I'm going to do is uh, make another world just so it can be cleaner. So we will make another world here. And now what I'm going to do is show off the volcano again, but this time it's going to shoot out ice, I believe, or water. One of those two. You should have saw that in the, uh, in the um, settings with the wrench, but oops. Okay, so we're gonna be using the boomstick, the health stick, the wrench, uh, predator missile, elephant gun, guess the plasma beam, this. Um, let's show you Volcano and Biome Buster. Okay, so here's Volcano again. So, uh, yeah, we'll just put this down. And <laughs> the snow, pretty funny. Select the wrench and change that to uh, uh, Glacier, so. Oh, my bad. I always forget to put TNT on it. I'm so sorry. Let me get some TNT out. The plasma beam is pretty pointless, but I'll show you guys that anyway. So, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to die over here. We'll see. So, I just blew that up. It's making a volcano with lava inside. Hmm. There it is. Saw the water. Um, it's gonna be a mess right now. 
It's gonna be a very big mess. It's gonna be bad. Okay. <clears throat> well, my game froze, but you guys should get the point. There's gonna be water everywhere. Yeah. Um, you think this is bad, you should wait until I set off the biome buster. We're not gonna have a biome last, uh, left. Everything's gonna be gone. So, that is that. It's kind of frozen. It's a bad idea showing you guys this. Um, I think we're gonna have to make another world after this, because once we put down the hell stick and, uh, the other things, it's gonna get pretty messy. Um, very fast, very messy, very fast. So here is that, um, I'm lagging just terribly, and I think it's starting to hit the ground. Uh, there's some water. Am I still flying or am I not flying? I can't tell. So, there is all the water. And it's just a gigantic mess. Um, so basically, it's just water everywhere. I would not recommend this at all. So don't do this. Um, so yeah, this is a very bad mess. So that is that. Okay, okay let's, let's get out of that. I am so sorry guys, but I cannot play this game with these mods, it's just ridiculous how crazy these are. So here we go, third time doing this. Uh, tell me how I sound on the mic too, I have a lot of changing up to do, still I'm going to get a pop filter pretty soon. Um, I actually have a, my mic is actually a, um, what is it called? It's a it's a blue um, Yeti mic. And I like it, so I hope you guys do too. Um, so <clears throat> here is everything. Yay! Let me get the TNT. Where is it? Or C4, not TNT. So that is that. Now let's move on to the. Um, Boomstick. Basically, what this is it makes a gigantic boom everywhere. And this is probably one of the most best griefing tools there is. I am not a griefer. And actually, I, uh, my plane, me and my friend built this huge plane. I mean, it was amazing. And, uh, we're we're gonna make a video on it in a second. And there's actually a fire on the plane and the whole thing was made out of wool. I mean, the plane was amazing. It uh, it had machine guns on it, uh, turrets with like fast uh, pulses so they would shoot fast, this gigantic team T dropper. I'm actually thinking about making it again for you guys, but it's, I mean, once that thing caught fire, there's no putting it out. It was a very bad day for me. So here is, um, the, uh, hell stick, I think. But this will just cover the whole map in, uh, lava, and my Minecraft did just crash, if you're wondering. <sighs> There we go. Okay, that's fun. Start up Minecraft again. So as you can see, it's a very dangerous mod. 
I would not recommend this for if you want to keep a um, world safe. So here is our fourth map. And I think we are ready to set off the uh, Biome Buster. So most likely it is going to crash. I'm just going to tell you straight up forward. It's going to crash when I set it off. Um, it's probably going to lag. Or actually it won't lag. It'll just freeze for around 30 seconds. So I'm just going to have to talk to you for 30 seconds. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty bad mess. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's dangerous. It's a mess. And it's, it's bad. Very bad. So here's Predator Missile. Here is Plasma Beam. I don't know what this shit is, but uh, C4. Okay, so here is the. Um, I didn't know you could fry them. Oh my gosh. As you can see, it makes glass when you right click it. It's pretty funny. And it makes thick glass too, it's not thin, it's pretty thick. So that will kill animals apparently, so that's pretty nasty. Um, so yeah, here is all that stuff. So there is a laser thing. Here is the Predator missile. Whoa. So let's do it right here. If you right click, it goes fast. So we will uh, destroy some trees here. So yeah, that's fun. Um, here is those beacons I was talking to you about earlier. If you want to make like an airstrip or something, this would be kind of cool to do that. Um, it doesn't do much. I don't know if they actually glow or not. Let me see. Um, midnight. So yeah, they glow. So that's cool. Um, so that's good, yeah. So they can be used for airplanes, apparently. So that's cool. So use those. Um, did I show you guys everything? Well, here's the Biome Buster. I guess I'm gonna show you guys it. I am very scared, too. Apparently I am recording, so I do like a little. But, um, this is going to probably crash. Like I said, um, I'll try to get the aftermath up for you guys, but... I don't think there's going to be anything left. I set one of these off, and it was just a hole. So I'm just going to move away and go very high. Move away. Three, two, one, lag. <clears throat> so here it is. It is off, but it is laggy. So, yep. So, yeah, it's just lagging. Um, so, how was your day today, guys? Um, by the way, thank you guys for supporting my other videos. I saw, uh, I saw them, and they had a great amount of... Uh, like so i'm very happy about you guys liking those um and thank you and by the way whoever uh posted that uh it's not for windows 7 or like it's for mac i'm only going to be doing mac videos in the future probably i will not be using uh windows at all i am a mac fanboy and i love macs so that's what i'm going to be using so here is um mountain 
Um, so this is the biome buster. So that is why it's called the biome buster. There's nothing left. It's just a gigantic hull. And uh, it can take out bedrock, believe it or not. That's how powerful it is. So it didn't get quite down there since I did place it on a mountain. But I'll put it down on bedrock and show you guys its power. So let's put down another one. Put down some C4. And say goodbye. <clears throat> So another 30 seconds and we will be good to go. Never mind, it actually went pretty fast there. So, why didn't it take out bedrock? That is very weird. I thought it took out bedrock. Huh. You know what? I think it was a mega nuke that took out bedrock. Let's try that. I'm. 100% for sure that something took out bedrock. Oh god. Um, so. A little bit of lag for you guys. Um, extra lag for that. And bedrock is still there, so that's quite weird. Um. Maybe not. Is that just fire? Bedrock is on fire. Um, okay. So, my new goal is to blow up bedrock. So that's real nice. Gonna do it? Gonna do it? Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> do you think it'll work? I think it's gonna work. This is gonna be cool. go we'll put two down just to make sure and it's sucking in the bedrock now this would be crazy griefing because there's no way to get a bedrock off of your server And here it is. We have a hole in the universe. It's pretty. Um, so yeah, there is our stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I really do. Thanks for watching. Um, Tell me why you did or did not like this video. And this is how to use and install. Uh, crap, what is it called? Explosives Plus. So, thank you guys for watching again. Tell me why you did, did not like this video. Make sure you guys comment. I need more comments. Um, I really do. Thanks for all the views you guys have had uh, given me. And please subscribe. I hate telling you guys that, but it does help me out a lot, and I can get more videos out faster. So thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.